What happens when two strangers have to share a living space and find they also share very different personalities? That's the setup for City Theater's new play, The Roommate, featuring award-winning actress Tamara Tooney as a recent divorcee who needs a little extra cash so she rents out a spare room, and Pittsburgh favorite actress Lori Clatcher, who stars as the new age free spirit who moves in. We're happy to have both women with us to tell us more <laughs> about what happens in this play that I hear is very funny. <laughs> It's a well, lot of fun. Is it a lot of fun? Yeah, lot we're of fun. having we're a We're having blast. a blast, and the audience is having a blast. So it got underway last Friday. So you've been in production for about a week now. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And tell us about the dynamic between these two women. Hmm. You take it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, my character is, um, as you said, a bit of a free spirit, and she comes from New York. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Uh, she wreaks a little havoc in the household, but also brings a lot of life into it. And as you said, my character is an empty nester and a divorcee, and she's, she's lonely as well. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's about the financial situation, but also it's about she needs some company. She needs some, someone in her life. And so when, when uh, Lori's character shows up, you know, um, suddenly her life opens up in a way that is very unexpected. And so there are a lot of surprises in the show. Uh, there's a lot of laughter in the show. It's also very touching at times uh, because it's really a story about, you know, these two women who are at a point in their life where there's uh, change happening. And uh, my character particularly feels like, you know, life is kind of over. Mm -hmm. And then she discovers that, no, life isn't over. You know, there's still opportunity. So there's still more. growth. There's still so much more. And so uh, it's interesting because, you know, this is a play about two women who are going through these changes. But we had a gentleman in the audience who actually said, you know, how much he identified with the story. And that's what I feel is important about any play that we do, that it touches people and reaches them where they are. Because it's a story about humanity. It's about being a human being. It's about life. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, the change that we all experience in life, unexpected changes sometimes. So uh, it, it's a play for everybody. Well, but Tamara, I have to bring that up too because you played in The Tempest last. Yes. <laughs> and it was a cast of all women. So yes. here we are once again talking about two women. I was in The Tempest too. Were you? Yes, so we were sharing that journey. So some people say it's the year of the woman, you know, <laughs> and it's kind of from last year continuing on into this year. So do you think it's empowering to have plays like this and to kind of have that those roles? Focused oh, absolutely, on? because I, I feel like, you know, um, you, you don't see a lot of plays about uh, about women in general, you know, where, where it's uh, they're taking the lead and it's focusing on, you know, whether it's their issues. I mean, The Tempest was different in that, you know, it wasn't necessarily a play about women, even though these women were playing right. these roles. And so I think it elevated the play in an interesting way because it wasn't about gender specific anything. So you really kind of got to the humanity of the characters. And I think this play does the same thing. You know, it gets right to the core of, you know, what people want, what people need, and it's, it's really special. One of the things that really interested me uh, reading the play was how often uh, do you have a chance to, as a middle-aged woman, play someone who uh, is really going through changes and that the play isn't about just being um, a mother or a nurturer or a second banana, but that the focus is really on us. And the notion, too, that um, your middle age can be an extremely rich, lively, you know, a time of real change. I was just yes. talking with somebody about this yesterday. It's kind of like a coming to age in a sort of figuring out what's important and what's not. Yeah. Exactly. As you approach that yeah. time. Exactly. Exactly. It's like a coming of age again. Yes. Again. Because right. life doesn't stop. You know, it, it really evolving. doesn't stop. It keeps evolving. And, you know, we can always remain engaged in some way. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to play a little bit of true and false with you guys. Uh -oh, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> so since this is about roommates, <laughs> these are weird roommate stories. We want to know if you think they are true or false. Okay. okay. Number one, I thought my roommate was FaceTiming his girlfriend every Saturday, but he was talking to his family cat back home. True or false? True. I think it has to be true. It is. <laughs> These are weird roommate stories, so you're right. Okay. Uh, number two, a roommate would go buy new pots and pans instead of washing the dirty ones that piled up in the sink. True or false? Uh, false. I think true. It's true. Oh. <laughs> it is true. Because if I could, I would. 
<laughs> I would too. I would too. Okay. Lastly, a story about two women who become unlikely pals and become uh, becomes a play about roommates. Absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> but we should ask too: is is it based on a true story? I mean, I think that these situations are happening, but right. is it based on any particular true story? No. I I, I don't think it's based. I think it's, I think it's inspired from what I recall in rehearsal. Jen Silverman, who wrote the play, mm -hmm. she was inspired to write this play because of um, her mom and where her mom was in her life and something would happen, yeah. you know, and changes that were happening. So it, it was inspired, so, I think, by yeah. true incident. I think that that's pretty much how a lot of things are. Okay? I think so, yeah. too. We write about life. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tamara and Lori. Thank you for joining us. A pleasure. Morning. Great Thank to be back. You. Don't miss The Roommate playing now through March 24th at City Theater in Pittsburgh Southside. Get showtimes and tickets online.